So I've got full battery right now, so I thought I'd do like a little behind the scenes thing. Here's the backpack that Orson uses. Um, what time is it? Oh my fucking phone is on. It is 12.54. Got my 2005 phone here. Um, but yeah. So basically all I did was like, um, I went up once without the poster there. Uh, I went up there. Then I came back down, and it is really fucking hot, by the way. That's all uh, true. The whole bit about the layers, because this boy wore too many layers, but I, I thought Borson would wear something like that. Um, but yeah, I came all the way down there. Uh, or no, I went all the way up there without the poster here. Then I came back down from all the way over there, and I hid the backpack behind one of those shrubs up there. And when you see in the film, the blue uh, screen, that actually happened. I thought my my camera's broken, and I was heartbroken for a second there, because my granddad gave it to me. Um, and he's no longer with us. Uh, and he gave it to me just before he passed. Uh, I start crying in a minute. So I'm going to move past that. Um, but yeah, I was like shitting myself there. Uh, so that sort of blue part is probably be a bit louder. And that bench is actually real. Literally just saw a bench there. I think I might actually get a get another shot of it. But I don't want to focus around liminal stuff too much. Because it's just like, lots of people are doing that. I want it focused around. Because then it's just the bench in the woods. And then it's just focused around that one object, that one thing. And I don't really want that, so... Uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. I'm probably going to ADR a lot of it, because I didn't quite like how it sounded. At least when I was discovering the, the missing person's Orla one. But, um, yeah, I'm going to head off now. I think we're good, right, in terms of... No pins or anything on the floor. So I just brought, literally brought some pens with me in like a little thing. Brought the missing persons. I actually have two. So I have you can see that, one of Orla. And I actually used to have one. I have one of Orson as well. And that was before I did the title sequence. That basically says he was... You already know he's missing. So you don't need... And that was getting complicated. And I also came up with the trip on the spot, because I remember uh, listening to a glitch in the Matrix story where someone was talking about how they were in another dimension. Well, it's not reality. So let me double check. And they tripped a while back, and they thought that was why. Like a real story. And uh, yeah, I'm just basing them on those. Nothing there on the floor. That's clear. Always make sure got everything. Always make sure you don't leave anything behind. Uh, not for your sake, but for someone else's. The woods. Um, yeah, fire tree. Um, yeah, I'm gonna reshoot a little bit of the trip here. Might actually include that clip uh, now. Okay. Let's go back a bit. Film another trip. We're good. Where's that? What the hell? It's a little green. It's all Just buried that little bud thing, green bud, in there. Really weird. Looks a bit dodgy. Looks quite cool. Very dodgy. Want that down. Want any animals getting that? Let's go back a bit, film another trip. Yeah, we're just gonna... Let's be dog there. Let's see if we can get the dog. Get the guy. Where is he? There's no one here. Okay. Got something in my fucking sock now. Here's 
here's that path I was talking about, guys. Right here. So we were down, down there. And uh, yeah, I think we got everything as well. Yeah, pretty happy guys. Um, yeah, we're on to the night shoot next, probably tomorrow, day after, uh, for the next scene, and then so we'll film stuff for that, and then uh, we're good to go. Well, no, we've got one more scene after that, and then we're good. So it's good stuff. actually get some fucking trip footage here. Some real trip footage. Yeah. See you guys in the night shoot if I record any behind the scenes. Uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. And well, it doesn't really matter if you enjoyed it or not. Just hope you learnt something maybe. Learnt that you don't need like, you know, two hundred people on a set, you know, blocking rehearsals camera tests, um, you know, 13 fucking, 13,000 hours of like, you know, writing your director's statement and shit, and, uh, then doing, what's it called when you, oh, what's it called when you're uh, done shooting for the day and you go to the, uh, I can't, I can't remember what it's called. You don't need all that. So. And if you don't like any of this, I don't really give a shit. I'm free. I just hope for the people who do, you know that you can do stuff by yourself and uh, enjoy it more, more importantly. Learn. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. So, it's literally impossible to do. But. So we're going to have to just sit in a wide here. But you can see here for these tracks that I had to re-edit uh, basically all of it because there are cars. Um, but I had to redo all the audio. And the biggest tip I'd have or I'd give is, and like I just did this throughout all of it. I don't think I tried to do normal audio once, but um, record it in camera. So just record the audio um, as if you were doing the scene again. Uh, obviously you could just reshoot the whole scene, but I mean if you've got a scene that you're happy with and you've got loads of sounds that fit the scene and you know foley that fits the scene and ambience that fits the scene, or if you can scrounge out some ambience, this is just scrounged out, sort of salvaged ambience at the bottom here. Hold on. So you can see there. Yeah, gonna have to zoom out. Oh my fucking god! At the bottom, basically, you can see there's uh, there's some ambience tracks, uh, some ambience little not tracks, ambience. Fucking hell! There's just some ambience, all right. Jesus, guys! There's some ambience at the bottom. I just kept repeating. But yeah, I just wanted to show this part. I wanted to just show the editing process a bit. Because I felt like it was pretty two-dimensional in terms of um, what you guys got to see. So yeah, this is basically the whole thing. I'm not going to give too much away as to how I edited it, but uh, edited it. But um, everything's a four by three, and I just did lots of uh, uh, sort of research, just research, and you know, understand what you you want to capture, and replicate that, and uh, just just research, just do. You know, look at different UI, look at different real or, you know, even other analog horror uh, creators, right? Well, I'm not an analog horror creator, this is uh, just one film, but um, I am a filmmaker. Um, I am a filmmaker, but look at me. No. Um, just research and most of all, go out and film it, go out and do it, and, you know, just use a. Uh, 
come up with an idea that is quite um, as low budget and do something around that. Do something around if if you don't have anyone else to film with, or you don't want to film with anyone else. You know, use that to your advantage. What the fuck? Uh, and look at Matt Johnson's films. Watch Matt Johnson's films. Watch other people's films and take inspiration. Sort of watch interviews, listen to interviews, uh, read, come up with ideas and and bring those ideas together, you know, and teach your brain to think about things um, in a way that's productive. And by the, you know, when I say I oh, think and teach your way to, brain to think about things, I mean, you know, uh, think about them in a way that's not destructive to yourself um, and in a way that makes you evolve as a person, as an artist, as a human being, to where you can think about philosophical things, you can think about things to do with films, you can think about things to do with literature, poetry, you know, paintings even, and you can use those creative thoughts to to evolve your pattern of thoughts and how you connect those thoughts together. And just, just use your brain as a tool, use the internet as a tool, and uh, just, uh, you know, become your true self. Uh, be yourself, do something unique as well, and um, yeah, just have awareness, and yeah, I'm rooting for you, so yeah, go out there and make it, peace out guys.